Welcome to our channel, Fast Cabling. So I struggle to manage a complex IP camera system with the numbers of cameras and multiple NVRs. Today in this video, we'll dive into the world of NVR switches and how they can simplify the control and management of even the most complex IP camera system. With an NVR switch, now you can streamline the entire process and enjoy an easy and efficient control experience. And don't miss out on this opportunity to receive expert guidance and unlock the full potential of your technology project. You can send us your questions through the link down in the description box below to claim your free design consultation. Security is top priority for organizations from medium to large size businesses and schools. And one of the most effective ways to monitor and safeguard your premises is through an IP camera system. However, managing a complex IP camera system can be challenging. As the number of IP camera increases, a single NVR may not be enough to handle the load. And imagine having to monitor and control dozens or even hundreds of IP cameras from a central location is not that simple. That's why we need to understand the basics and choose the right NVR for our situation. So now let me introduce to you the 8-port industrial NVR switch. Now this switch integrates multiple NVRs to only one HDMI display without extra software or driver required. The operators can operate each connected NVR with one mouse or hard key quickly and conveniently, obtaining high monitoring efficiency along with robust performance. So now let me explain how they work. So as you can see, everything is already connected together. But don't worry, now I'm going to explain them step by step. For easy understanding, I separate them into set A and set B. So let's go through set A first. Now this is the set A managed PoE switch. And this is where we connect to our, all our IP cameras. I connected one over here. This is our set A camera. And let's move over to the switch. This is the uplink port and it's connected to our set A and VR. Now, we only have two HDMI cable and this one is the main HDMI cable. This one can only see about four channels. So we need, we only have one main control here. That's why we need a splitter to split the HDMI cable. So now we can connect to our NVR switch. So this one is connected to our HDMI splitter over here. We can see the HDMI in. Let's plug it in here. Now this is the HDMI cable that connected to our NVR switch, which is the set A cable, this one. This is channel one. And now we also have the last one that is connected to another separate monitor. So when I unplug this one, you'll see the set A monitor turn off instantly. So let's plug it back in. This is the set A television monitor and this is set A channel one. And also we have to connect to the USB, which is over here to set A, the channel one. Now let's go through set B. Actually, it's exactly the same. This is the set B PoE switch that connected to this camera over here. This is the set B camera. So let's come over here. This is the uplink port that connected to our set B NVR to here. This HDMI cable is connected to the HDMI splitter this is the HDMI in. Let's plug it in here. This is where we connect it to our channel B. This is the output two, and this output one is connected to another separate monitor, which is this one. This is the monitor for set B. Now I'm going to unplug it so you can see. All right. 
So this is how we're going to set up the whole thing. And come closer and you'll see our PoE global, sorry. Our NVR switch here has the HDMI output port. And this is where we connect to our main monitor. And this is how we can switch up the channels and look at set A and set B. Now I'm going to change it. We are going to press home button twice. Home, home, one. So now I'm already in channel one. This is channel one, which is set A. This is the A camera. I'm going to move my hand and you can see the set A camera, the monitor and the set A, the other individual monitor is also waving. And now I'm going to change it to set B, which is the channel two. So I'm going to press home, home two. Now it's changing to the set B. I'm going to make it bigger. Now I'm going to make, wave my hand so you can see this is a set B camera and also the individual set B monitor. So this is how you change the channels. So by using this NVR switch, you can greatly improve the efficiency of manual control and management. Also, the integration is completely free of the use of extra software or driver, which is very cost saving. Also, the plug and play feature means it has an easy installation. Remember, not only we can look at the channels and IP cameras on the monitor, we can also do the configuration through the single monitor and single mouse. For example, I'm going to open up here. So we have menus, channel sets, and also the PDZ control and everything here. You can control the IP camera and also the NVR through this single monitor. So you don't need two mouses or even seven or eight mouses but only use one mouse to control everything and thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel fast cabling and if you find our video helpful please share it with the friends or family who may benefit from it